Thank you so much for your time and thanks for the click. My name is Dalen Fee. Now, do you know it is very easy to solve questions about differentiation using the calculator? Yes, for the purpose of examination and especially for the objectives, we want to help make the learning of mathematics easy. Now, our presentation in this episode is to teach how to use calculator to solve differentiation that involves trigonometric function. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you set the calculator in the radiant mode. Whenever you are using the calculator to solve questions about trigonometry, please make sure you set up your calculator into a radiant mode. To do that, first you press shift and then you press mode and you select option 4. So once you click 4, it means your calculator is now in a radiant mode and you are able to solve any question involving trigonometry or exponential function or even natural log. If you are ready, let's go. Alright, so now let's solve the first question. Now that we have set up our calculator in a radiant mode. Now to differentiate question, alright, what we are going to do here is that we are going to differentiate the expression without the y is equal to. So you are going to click on the differential button. And to do that, you press shift and then you press the integral sign. Now we have the differential symbol here. Now we are going to write the expression we are going to differentiate on the calculator. So now let's write it up. So we have E and the E is here. So you press shift and then you press E. Now we have the exponential symbol. Now it is E exponent sine X. So up with the exponent we indicate sine X. So sine then you click alpha x, you have sine x. Notice that a bracket was opened when you click the sign. Now you need to close this bracket up, else you will get an error. So you click on the bracket close and you are there. Now we are going to differentiate this expression with respect to 1. So all differentiation, we are going to differentiate when x is equal to 1. So you are going to move the cursor to the right hand side and then in place of this box you click on 1. So I click on the cursor and I am now here. So I am differentiating the e exponent sine x with respect to 1. Okay, so once you have clicked the 1, you simply press the equal sign button and now you are getting an answer. Alright, so follow me carefully. We are differentiating with respect to 1. After the differentiation, whatever answer you get, we are going to save this answer in A because we are going to compare which of these possible answers matches with this particular answer. So to save this in A, you simply press the shift and then you press the store and then you press the A. So our answer here has been saved in A. Now for the possible answers, to determine which one is the correct one, we are not going to differentiate them, no. But instead, you are going to enter the expression just the way you say it. And then we are going to use the calc button here to determine which of them will give us this answer. Alright, so let's check option 1. Now the first one, we have e cos x sin x. So let's enter this on the calculator. Now to get it, you press shift and then you press the natural log. You will now have the e. The exponent is cos x. So you click on cos. You see it has opened a bracket. So after entering this x, you need to close the bracket. So shift and then x. Then the bracket should be closed. You realize that the sign here is not up. The sign is down. So we need to move the cursor down. You do so by simply pressing on the right arrow. Now let's add the sine x. So for sine x, we have sine bracket is open. So 
x is alpha and an x make sure you close this bracket so we have the bracket closed now what we are going to do next is that remember that we differentiated the question using x is equal to 1 so to determine which of these will give us the correct answer we are going to also solve this using x is equal to 1 and to solve you simply press the calc button so you press the calc the calculator is asking you what value of x was used to differentiate the question now that same value used in differentiating the question will be entered here so the value that was used to differentiate was one so you click one and then you press is equal to all right now we are going to do something remember when we differentiated this we saved the answer to a now we are going to divide the new answer we have gotten by the one we have saved in a if you get one that means this is correct if we divide this by the answer we saved in a and we don't get one that means this is not correct so you simply go ahead by divide so let's click divided by now we are going to divide by the answer we saved in a so you simply press alpha and then you press a then you press is equal to so you can see that this has not given us one so this the answer a is not the correct one so let's move on to option b and see if that will be correct so as usual enter the expression the way you see it now to get this you press shift and then you press the natural log now we have e the exponent is sine x so we have sine bracket open alpha x now you must close this bracket so let's close it up now the cost is not up the cost is down so let's click the right arrow and then we have cos x so you press cos and then alpha x you close the brackets okay so now we have option b on the calculator we are also going to solve to see if we we'll get the same value as we saw for this now to do that you simply press the solve button and then it is asking what value was used to differentiate the question now notice that the value that we used was one so you simply press one and then you press is equal to so it has given us an answer now in order for us to conclude that this is the correct answer we are going to divide this answer by the one we saved in a to do that you simply press divided and then you press alpha and then you press a because we save the answer to a now when you divide and you get one that will make this the correct answer so let's see one okay so it simply means that when you differentiate y is equal to e sine x the correct answer is going to be e sine x cos x so the option b is the correct one let's now move to the next question okay so the next question says if f of x is equal to cos bracket open pi over 4 minus 2x bracket close find f prime now notice that f prime is the same as asking find dy dx so as we did in the previous example we are going to actually differentiate this question and to do that make sure your calculator is in radiant mode so if you see r that means you are there so now that I have R on my calculator, I will have to go and bring the differential symbol. So you press the shift and then you press the integral sign. We are having the differential symbol here. We are entering this expression. Forget about the f of x. So we have cos. So I have cos. Now remember that once I click the cos, it has opened a bracket. Now this bracket here closes with this one. So this new bracket, there should be a way of closing it. Very important. Now pi over 4 is a fraction. So to enter it, you click on the fraction key. And then the pi is down here. So you press shift. And then you press this. We have the pi. And then we move downwards. And the value is 4. So you click on 4. 
you can see that the Kesa is down, but I am down with the 4. I need this minus to come up. That means you will need to click the right arrow and the Kesa is up. So I have minus 2x. So 2 alpha x. Okay, now notice that this bracket closes with this. But this bracket, I need to close it. And so you have to bring another bracket, else you will get an error. So whenever you open any bracket on the calculator, you should always remember to close it. Now that I am certain that I have entered exactly what the question is demanding of me, the next thing to do is that you click on the right arrow because we are going to differentiate at a value of 1. Please notice that we are differentiating at a value of 1. If you work with a 1 and you have a problem, you try 0. But for the purpose of this presentation, we are going with 1. So I click on 1. And then once you put 1 here, you click on is equal to. So what you are seeing is that when we differentiate this using the value of x is equal to 1, we are getting this answer. Now we are going to compare which of the possible answers will give us this same value. The one that will provide us with this same value will be the correct answer. So let's save this. Now we are going to save the answer to A. And to do that, you simply press the shift and then you press the store, and then you press the A. So this means we have saved this answer to A. Now remember, the reason we have saved it is that we are going to compare which of these will provide us with this answer. Okay, so let's now check the first one. Now notice that in differentiation, you only differentiate the question. But the answers, we don't differentiate. The answers, we solve them. So let's enter this expression the way we see it on the calculator. So we have 2, then we have sine. Now sine bracket open pi over 4. This is a fraction. So you click on the fraction button. So pi, you press shift, and then you come down here. We have pi. Then let's move the cursor down. 4 is there. So you click on 4. Once we are done with the down, let's move the arrow up. So you press the right arrow. Then we have minus 2x. So 2 and then pi x. Once again, a bracket was opened here. That needs to be closed. So let's close the bracket. Now, after entering the expression the way you see it, for the purpose of examination, always make sure you cross-check that you have entered the right information. Now that I am certain that I have done the right thing, you simply press the calc. Now, the calculator is asking us what value was used to differentiate the question. The same value that was used must be entered here. So, I differentiated the question with 1. So, I will press 1. And once you are done, simply press is equal to. Now, how do we know that this answer is correct? To do that, we are going to divide this answer by the one we saved to A. When we divide and we get 1, that means this is the correct answer. But when we divide and we do not get 1, it means this is not the correct answer. So we should work the second one. So you simply click on divided by the one you save in A. So you click alpha and then you click A. So let's divide and see. Bam. So once we are getting 1, it means the correct answer for this question it's actually 2 sine pi into bracket and um, pi over 4 minus 2x. So when we differentiate this using calculator, this is what we get. It is very simple. All you need to do is to practice. Now let's go and check the next question. All right, so we move on to the next question. We are to differentiate e to the power x over 1 plus e to the power x. So we click the differential sign. You press shift. You press the integral sign, and because this is a fraction, we need to introduce the fraction button. And then on the top of it, we have E, so shift natural log to the power x, alpha x. And then you move down. We are having 1 plus E, 
so shift natural log to the power x all right so what we do is that we move the cursor to the right in order to replace this box with one so because we are differentiating when x is equal to one then you press the equal sign so this is what you are getting now after getting the answer when you differentiate this to the power when you differentiate this at x is equal to one you need to save this so we are saving it to a you press shift you press store and then you press a so the question is which of these possible answers will give us the same answer to do that we now have to enter this expression and then we use a calc button to solve so we have fraction button then e to the power x we move down and then we are having two so two comes okay sorry so we are having brackets so let's open the bracket up and then we have one plus e to the power x so one plus e to the power x okay then let's bring the cursor down so we can close the bracket so the cursor now comes down and then we can now close the bracket and then there is an exponent of 2 so the exponent 2 now that we have gotten exactly what we have in option a we are now going to solve this using the same x that was used here so you press the calc it is asking what value of x was used in differentiating remember we use one so that same one okay now this is what you are getting now in order for us to be sure that this is a correct answer we are going to divide this answer by what we saved in a if we get one that means a is correct but if we get any different number that means the answer is not option a so you click divided by then alpha and then you click a then you press is equal to bam so it means that when we differentiate this the correct answer is going to be this.